What are we doing? Day four. This is day four. Introduction. Day four. Welcome to day four. Yeah. We're ready. Those who don't know, this is Matt Mormon. Michael Figueroa. <laughs> that is incorrect. AKMFR. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's my initials. Yeah. So anyway, welcome to day four. We're um, uh, Mike's doing Prevost. I'm kind of laying in the flooring, start making some cuts. Uh, what else we got on the agenda today? You think we're gonna get the cabinets today? Well, I think so, because I'm gonna get this whole line done for you guys, so that way it's out of the way. Okay. And then I'm going to, when the lines get here, I'll put the lines in and we can get the... Uh, the lines for the longer for the, lines for the Yeah, for the, lifts. For the um, And then we can put the, yep. the anchors in. Yep. Check the lifts off the list. Yep. Well, I'm not too worried about getting the anchors in today, just as long as the cabinets are in, the lines are in, that way they're where they go. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, we can always do the, the anchor bolts later. What do you got here? Building the Prevost manifold for the uh, wash air bay area. So I adopted very, very early on, there's roughly nine different standards. You know, there's, there's a, the Japanese version, there's ISO 06, which is industrial, there's True Flate, which actually true flight is pretty common out here in the it West is. Coast. Yep. Uh, and, and several others. And so I like to do the Euro high flow. I figured if we're building an ecosystem from scratch, why not choose the, the best option, which is the Euro high flow type connection. And so the quick disconnects are, there's a hole, the opening's a little bit fatter than regular. Uh, and so the only disadvantage of you know air fittings, they're not universal. So you can't put an ISO 06 industrial type fitting in a Euro high flow, it'll leak, you know, air will shoot past it. So, but the simple thing is they're like a dollar fifty for the plugs that you put on all your tools, and uh, and so then Fred will be all set up. Fred didn't want hose reels, uh, and so he's gonna do you know bare hoses when it when needed. Uh, and so we're doing a lot more manifolds in this install than we normally would uh, and so we'll have manifolds on the wall uh, that'll look nice and clean and then when he needs air he'll have access to it really you know air has become less and less important mm -hmm. it's really it's a real luxury and a real nice thing to have in a, yeah. you know, in a garage like this yeah. or he's you know kind of tinker type garage yeah i like having it um, especially if you want to do any kind of pneumatic polishing or anything yeah yeah, and blowing things off. You can't you can't substitute anything for an air nozzle and, yep. and blow yep. things out. Yep. Yeah, so the air system here is going to be, we'll show you the compressor setup as Mike works through this, uh, but we're doing the new uh, compact, uh, I forget what we call it, the box, the box of beautifulness. Oh, the Werther? Yeah, the yeah. Werther little, um, little compact. Nice. Yeah. compact compressor X or something. I forget what yeah. we call it. Yeah, it's pretty sweet though. So this is the first installation we've done with it. I haven't even done it in my place yet. It'll deliver somewhere around 12 CFM at less than 50 decibels. Yeah. Just wait. Can't know. wait to hear it run. It's insane. Yeah, it looks super nice. And then we're using, these are gas lines. They're nitrogen lines. Nitrogen, right. Yeah. So this is green, which it's the same line, it's just made green. They make it in blue, green, gray. So the normal Prevost color is blue. Uh, and uh, that's what you've seen me do over and over. We like to do one inch lines. I feel like it's a good compromise. It's a nice size. They do, what, three, half inch, three quarter, one inch, all the way up to three or four or something yeah. crazy like that. Yeah, we have some big stuff going in for the sleeving for the pressure washer line that's coming across here. That sounds like We're a baby. here, madam. <laughs> It's your baby, Michael, she's crying. So we're doing green because of the theme in here, which I really dig. Yeah, it's cool. He's making me- A little splash of color. Thinking about, yeah, getting a little, mm -hmm. a little bit of extra style in my life. So, you know, I'm wearing jeans now. Yeah. Skater shoes. I noticed that. Watches at times. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should start putting a little color in my life. Maybe. It's all about evolution. You know? It is, it is. Change is good. Yeah. Improvement is good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're working. You guys just sit back and enjoy the ride. We're here. I can barely stand up because I hurt my back, but um, I'm just powering through it. Nothing, I'm good. All good here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Don't mind the way he walks, he shuffles. <laughs> hey, the more I bend over, the worse it feels. I'm telling myself, hey, the more I bend over, the more it's going to loosen up. 
That's what I get for trying to stay in the gym while I'm doing a project. Yeah. You try to do something good, and this is what happens. Yep. Oh, your doggy? Yeah. She's, uh, she's hurting the unit over there. She's, she's got some drama in her. Mom, please help me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to poop in your poop in your satchel. I'm going to poop. I'm going to poop in your satchel, mom. <laughs> Whatever you call that thing. All right, that's good. Okay, so we we are poking through the wall to run a drop on the inside of the inside of the wash bay. So I, I was I was there's blocking above because there's a beam that goes through. So I couldn't go too high. I couldn't flip that 90 and go up above because there's, there's lumber there. And we wanted to center the pipe between the TV and the center channel. So I had to make that as short and tight as possible. So if you come through here, the way I'm doing it, I had to kind of assemble everything, take the clamp, the supporting clamp off the holes of the pipe away from the wall so I could get everything tight against the wall so I could tighten this 90. It was very, very precise. <laughs> Just barely made it. So now this, this manifold's gonna go right here. I'm gonna put it at the same level as these valves. So I think that'll look cool. So that'll take care of this room. Nice. But you can see normally I don't put fittings in the wall, but I just, you know, they're tight, they're not gonna leak. And there's a way that you can tighten them if you needed to. You just have to unpop the clamp move it out, tighten one side, push it back the other way, tighten the other side, you can get to it. That's how I assembled it. So it can be tightened, but I don't know. no, it's not a big deal. I think it looks cleaner. Anyway, so that's where we are. Like and subscribe. So it just helps the, the ceiling ring seat. Makes a big difference, just a tiny bit. And this stuff's already diluted a little bit, so it works nicely. Shut up, Michael. That's really funny. Let's see. Top tier celebrity. I had my first autograph yesterday. My first autograph was yesterday for Fred. I think he was just being kind. Yeah, you're Yeah, I'm sure, Michael. Mm hmm. And I'm like. <laughs> you know what's funny, Mike, is no one can hear what you're saying. Yeah. You know? It's funny. Yeah, I know you like it that way. But people want to hear you, Mike. They do. They do. They're very intrigued with the Mike Waba that's behind the camera, you know? Yeah. It, it, how does it feel to be a celebrity without actually ever having to step in front of the camera? Nice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Waba Nita gets to experience celebrity status all the time. She gets to hang out with you, you know? Big celeb. Yeah. All right, so. All right, so if you don't already, follow ObsessedGarage.com on, well, it's not ObsessedGarage.com, it's obs yeah, at ObsessedGarage at Instagram. Yeah, because we post stories and show people like some behind the scenes. Yeah, and so who's in charge of that now? That, that's your wife that's takes care of that. She does a lot of photographs and yeah. she's really zooming in right now, taking some pictures, Mike. Yeah, so yeah, follow us on Instagram for sure. And Mike, I'm gonna go grab a level. Okay. Uh, Mike F Signature Series. And Mike F Signature Series level.
I can't wait. Wait till I tune the speakers and the subwoofers are going and this room is rocking. It's gonna be great. All right, Mike, I'm thinking about it here. You know, we're, what, four days into the project. We're making great time. We're having a, we're having a blast. I'm taking applications. Mike, are you down for this? I'm volunteering us. For the next, if you're the next oh, Fred, yeah, yeah, couple yeah. of requisites. One, you gotta have somewhere really close and easy and convenient, really nice for us to stay. Yeah. Two, you've gotta, you know, have an infinite budget. <laughs> right? So that's I like the second that. Requisite. I like that. Um, three, you gotta take good care of us with pastries and mm -hmm. chips and some, you know, some delicious steaks. drinks, right? Steaks, steaks for me. Um, four, you gotta be really nice. You know, and five, you got to be passionate about your garage and passionate about your life's work, and then you want to put it all together. So I'm taking applications. Uh, we'll do one more, one of these next year, and um, just hit us up, hit up design. If you want to go through this dream project, and you're somewhere in a cool place in the world, we'll come there and do it. Not Alaska in the winter. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got to be temperate. Yeah. Yeah, there's got to be, it's got to be comfy, right? <laughs> optimal conditions, you know, because we can only do one. So why would we do a crappy condition setup? Yeah. You know, why would we go to like, you know, Cincinnati in, the, in February? We're not doing that, you know, but, you know, maybe we'd go to Columbus in the summer, you know, that yeah. could be good. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, taking applications, hit Kyle up, Kyle at ObsessedGarage.com, and he can make the pitch to me of who or what our next garage is going to be. And we're gonna do somebody else's. So we did John's last year, early last year. We did Fred's this year. Who's next? Hit me up. Let's get started, because it takes a while to put this thing together. Yeah, yeah, good year of planning. But I'm in. This is fun. I mean, I wasn't sure, but this is a lot of fun. No, no, Mike, I'm not doing this year round. Once a year, once a year. <laughs> you know, I gotta do my own garage. We got to do our. We got to do all our own garages. I think we should do a GoFundMe for Mike Figueroa's garage. I bet you we could. Do Why it. are you saying Figueroa now? What's with that? Yeah, yeah, we should do that. I think that's a good idea. I mean, we only need to raise a couple hundred grand. You want to throw yourself in that loop? The Mike and Mike GoFundMe. <laughs> Mike and Mike GoFundMe. If you guys appreciate Mike and Mike, we'll just pretend like I don't pay you. Like you're just here for free. Yeah. Right. Or you pay us uh, pennies. Yeah, you each yeah. make like 25 G's a year, and yeah. you're just working here on the kindness of your own heart. So I need, I need to go fund Mike and Mike's garages. Matt won't do it for us, so please help us. I mean, think about it. If we had, you know, 1,000 people donate 50 bucks, you'd pay 50 bucks to watch a series of Mike's and Mike's garage, wouldn't you? I think we're on to something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here we go again. Everybody else gets everything for free and I gotta pay for everything. How does this work? God dang it. Adam gets everything for free, I, you know, and I gotta pay for my own fridge, you know, all that kind of stuff, that's how it works. You get us though. I, th I like that idea, Who, who's in for that idea? Put it in the comments, would you, uh, would you put in a couple of bucks to see a, a Mike and Mike garage series? Mike's garage and Mike's garage. And then Mike builds his own garage and I hold some stuff for him. Put some swish. I think we should do that. I mean, think about it. I, I would do that. I'd be like, you know, I'll, I'll just put in a couple hundred, 250 bucks or so just so I can watch the series. Man, why am I so hungry today? Yeah, I don't know. Because probably maybe, I don't know, did we eat too much last night maybe? Mm, yeah, it's true. I'm just hungry. Yeah. It's a different kind of hungry. It's like, let me just go in and get another snack. So what's going on is this is gonna come up into the T. Pipe is gonna go through the wall. I'm gonna extend this pipe further through because I'm not dropping right where I'm coming through. I'm gonna extend through further, 90 towards the co inside corner of that wall, and I'm gonna 90 along the wall there and drop next to the compressor. That made no sense at all, Michael. Michael, it, just it just makes, makes all the sense in the world. It's just a lot of Mike. curbs and babies and yeah, there's curbs mm -hmm. that do that. And then we're gonna drop it down and then take it right. I think you just can't keep up. No, no, that's why when you do your garage, I'll do the install, okay? 
You just do the camera work. This is where we're going through to the other side. So I admit the stud is literally right here. So, yeah, I was bait because there's a stud here, a double, and then one right here. So I was kind of limited and I need to have room to go through 90 and then 90 up. So there's plenty of room on that side because this wall bumps out eight inches. But uh, yeah, we're kind of limited. And I was having to take a, you know, an educated guess that that stud was on this side of that box up there, and it was. So, luckily, it was. Uh, it worked out. Let's go look the other side, Mike. See how much it's sticking out. So I'm gonna end up trimming it a bit back. I was kind of guessing because I want. What I want is I want the nut to be partially in the wall, about like that, so I can get the spanner on it still, but it's also taking up, uh, filling that you know, that hole I put in the wall. So that'll look clean. And then I think what I'll do at the end of everything is I'll get some paint, a little painter's caulk, and just finish this off. I could put an escutcheon on there, but a escutcheon this size is not easy to find locally. So I'll, uh, I'll just make it look nice. It even looks clean just like that. So I see this in the comments often about the surface mounting of Prevost. Uh, so I wanted to address that and sort of explain ourselves and why, why we do it this way. So if you haven't seen, let me grab one of the fittings here. So all of these fittings are all anodized aluminum, you know, and so they're beautiful craftsmanship. The piping is also finished and pretty awesome looking. Uh, we're doing this pretty interesting, you know, version of the nitrogen delivery version, the green version. Uh, but there's a couple of pros to putting it on the surface. One, serviceability, uh, but the main pro for us is it just looks really freaking cool. Uh, and so, you know, a lot of people are asking a question, well, if Kyle spent all this time designing and Fred, you know, did all this pre-planning, why in the world would he want to put this on the surface? Why wouldn't you run this through the walls? And we could certainly do that. Uh, you could put copper piping in the walls or galvanized pipe or even the Prevost pipe in the walls. But when you have this stuff that looks this cool, why would you want to hide it? Uh, and so I always like to look at it. Fred likes to look at it um, and uh, he wanted to see it. Uh, and so, you know, that's why we've made the choice to uh, do it. And then, you know, Mike's a wizard with making it look beautiful, like putting the, you know, putting the, the center junction right, you know, the union right smack in the middle uh, and then, you know, garnering some, some symmetry throughout. Uh, and then, you know, again, this is the first application we've done it green. Uh, we want to see it on the wall. It just looks cooler. So yes, we could put it in there, but I think this is the way to go. So I'm still working through the Prevo piping. So we have got this run done into the compressor, where the compressor room is, which is in the corner, up and over. So I'm going to continue this on later, but I'm going to switch to come over to this side. That way, all this back wall is done, and they can mess around with the cabinet array. Um, so I'm going to work on that, where that ends there coming over and up just like this side. And then above that, so you can see I, I left this off um, about five inches from the ceiling because on this side, there's gonna be that two inch pipe, Prevo piping that, that the, is a sleeve for the, um, the uh, pressure washer hose. So that's gonna go up there first. And then this pipe below it will be at the same height as the one on the right side over here. So that way they're, they're uniform or symmetrical. A couple more pieces to go. Rolling. And then a million of these, yeah. I'm waiting on you for that, Mike. I don't want to leave you out. No, no, you don't have to worry about that. Maybe you should eat some more. Eat yeah, some more cinnamon rolls. Well, that's what I'm going to do. That that's way, that way I don't... You have to tighten and Look at that. I'm, I'm, a, it. I'm a belt loop short. I'm a hole short. Look at that. Yeah. See? That means I have room. Yeah, I got some room to you sure shrink. Do. One, yeah. two, three. Oh, shrink. Yeah, shrink. I only have one more hole and then I'm shrunk. Look at this wall beneath is capturing this here. Say what? I said they were capturing you. She's taking pictures and oh, he's filming no. you. 
Big moment. We need to sell some of the multi-tools. Big moment. Good. That's right. Mike uses this tool more than anything. I do use it a lot. That and the M12 Surge, man. I, this is my... We don't have one here. I know, I'm a little... We get one overnighted. Fifty percent of the cut's done. Good. The other fifty percent is right here. Mm-hmm. Well, you'll be fine. You'll. All right. So a little bit of bad news. A little hiccup in the project here. Not from our. Not our fault. UPS let us down. So we have a lot of parts coming to finish the Prevo system and to finish the pressure washer. Those are all custom hoses that were coming, new, some more clamps to get the piping installed, um, the long hose that runs all the way from the pressure washer all the way up here. All that stuff's delayed. It's in Santa Maria. Apparently the UPS's flight was late, so they just said, yeah, you know, we're not gonna deliver it. So it's at the UPS facility. Fred went there to try to get it and they said no go. So. Here's where we are. We're kind of at a pause on the Prevo system and the pressure washer system. So the lines are done, we can, so I guess next thing will be cabinets. Um, I, at least I've got it far enough done that, that the, uh, we can get the cabinets in. All the, all the Prevo stuff, I can't tighten any of it because we have the, no spanner wrench, so that's coming as well. You're getting um, real negative here, Mike. I need you to chip rock. I'm, I'm, I'm chipper, Maddie. Don't you worry about it. Right. What we need to do is go get some cinnamon rolls. Working through back pain like you are? My back feels great. Yeah, sure I don't know does. what you're talking I about. I can tell. You know what's good for backache? Cinnamon. Is this lift connected? Can you get me up in the area or no? Would it really help you if it was up in the air? Yep. It's just easier. Oh, okay. Easier to measure. Easier to measure. Because then I can just hold the tile in place and just use the yeah. square. Rather than having to use a tape measure and count yeah. baby lines. Tape measure makes it way harder. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Jeff's coming back. He's gonna. <laughs> so I have, I have a meeting to get to. Yeah. Jordan and I have to meet about something. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure yet what meeting about, but something. Just some discussions. Yeah, we're discussing something. Mm -hmm. So these are all our hoses we had made. Let's lengthen all the hoses for the, the lift. So I gotta, I'm gonna straighten them all out. I have a list of where they go, which ones go where. So let's see. Like they did a great job, these look good. So if we get these pulled through and get the lines hooked up, I can power up the lifts and then uh, get them up in the air so I can anchor them down. tell you how excited I am about continuing to cut Swiss tracks. Remember I said I was gonna do like a little bit each day. Well, I gotta keep going. I might need to take a nap. You know, you know what's sad is you think this is like, this is low level work too. Mm. You know, well, I'm doing all this and I'm not even getting any credit for any it, kind of real manness, you know? 
Oh, you are. This is like this is like saw. This is a low level, up. low level, You're low fine. man. I thought I was, you know. It's not really low level. It's it's just it's apprentice work. Oh, that's all. Yeah. Everybody's got to start somewhere. I'm supposed to be the leader, the winner, the, the guy, <laughs> the, the main winner. guy. The winner. I'm the main guy <laughs> what do you here. You mean the winner? So we're all losers if you're a winner. Well, is that what that means? Well, you don't have to lose if I win, as long as we both win. All right, but well, now that's I'm, fair. Now I'm losing. That's fair. Okay, apprentice, why don't you go pull on the fisheroo then? Yeah, thinking I'm doing a good deed for the world here. And you are You're doing a good deed for me, so I don't have to do it. That's the beauty of it. You know, I'm like the heart surgeon. I come in and do the surgery, and then someone else closes. Yeah. You know? I kill the patient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you ready? Pull? Yeah, I'm okay. ready. Oh. Uh oh. Mosteroni. We must be close though because. Uh, yeah, keep going. I can hear it. There it is. Yep, yep. Okay, apprentice hand, uh, takes the tape off too. Is that what he does? Yeah, you know, you don't have to. I had a knife. I do. See, the journeyman carries all the proper tools. My tool is on the ground. Yeah, that's where the. Oh, actually, that was my tool that you took from the ground. No, I, I, I may, I may have. Back. I may have. Give me my tool back. Careful, it's a sharp end. Journeyman steals the yeah. mm -hmm. apprentice's tools. That's right. So, we're not using this unit, right? I'm mounting this in the cabinet. So that means you're gonna hook this up and get juice everywhere. Well. All over the Swiss tracks, gonna be slipping and sliding. Yeah, I'm gonna get juice anywhere. Looking a little short. No, oh, it's just supposed to, it's, I didn't make them too long. I made them perfect length. Mm. They go up inside and go like this. Tell me too short. <laughs> he is, he is. You, can you see? This is what they he is. would relish if they were, oh, it's wrong. <laughs> he would just relish the moment. That, that's what the audience does. I'm just, yeah. just preparing you for yeah. the win. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Preparing you with what uh -huh, they're going to say. Uh -huh. Actually, I think they only do that to me. Yeah. Well, that's because I'm never wrong. <laughs> that's Swiss tracks, man. That's terrible. That's the worst cut ever. I'm like, it wasn't even a cut. I just snapped it in place. What's wrong? <laughs> You can do no right. Well, there's dirt under there. How many times have we actually explained oh, that every single time? At least a hundred. Yeah. Gosh. I'm the cleanest person I've ever met in existence. Are you? Yeah. And mm. I don't care about the dirt under three quarters of an inch of a tile. You just frickin' sweep it up whenever you want. It's a cool uh -huh. part. Uh huh. Otherwise, I gotta sweep my floor every day, every single day. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's not I a, don't understand why you would put such great audio in the garage. If you don't understand, then you're not an audio person. I don't know what to tell you. I can tell from, speak from experience, it sounds amazing. I, whatever, whatever reasoning you came no, up no, with works for me. Back to cutting. Back yep, to cutting. I'm real excited about it. I'm just keep it going. I think I've got a couple of meetings. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah, Saturday meetings, you know. Uh, emergency meeting yeah. with my eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> the lines are in on this one, test it out. So this one's good to go. I'm gonna have to obviously have to wire it in still, but at least it's plumbed up. We can go up and down with it. So I'm gonna go do the same thing to that one over there. The right and left go here for, uh, so uh, they're marked red and black. So, and then the white, the drain goes through here. So pretty easy to do. Pretty straightforward. Was seeping, Mike? I didn't tighten them. I didn't tighten them. That's pretty amazing that it only seeped that much. I did, only, they were only finger tight. I think so. I get the air out. 
can hear the air coming back in. That's about it now. Huh? What? Custom. Customing. Customizing. So this puppy goes in this puppy, and that was a little bit too tall. So that's when you do a little hackaroo. I feel much more my natural habitat now that we've, now that I finished the Swiss tracks. You did. Is it I finished, it? yeah, yeah. I finished the whole thing myself. You did a great job. Yeah. But I witnessed I mean it. I witnessed it. It's true. I believe it. It's, 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 it's uh, he absolutely did so it all that Jeff and I, in maybe two minutes of Kyle, finished the switch tracks. Yeah. Um, we, uh, the lines are in, so all the, all the lifts are now controllable. And we'd like to be able to get this lift controllable as well. And so that controller is going to be mounted inside of this cabinet. And in order to do that, we need to, it's a little too tall. Okay. It's going to go right about there, I guess. That gray and green is pretty transcendent, Mike. <laughs> pretty transcendent. It's a good combo. Don't you think so, Mike? I like it. Yeah. yeah I, like I didn't think I would, but I really like it. Yeah. If you don't like it, you're an idiot. Sorry. I'm telling you, the fin finish of this is so much better than mine. Maybe they just got, got a mediocre guy. They knew it was you. He's like, yeah, he doesn't care. He's just a regular old dude. So to cue you in, you know, we, we did these listas when we were, you know, we were a list, becoming a lista dealer. We were a lista dealer. We sold these to Fred and um, then throughout the process, we decided to transition away from them. Um, it took us, I think, eight months to get these delivered. That's part of the struggle. So we're still a lista dealer if you want them. Um, just know Kyle's going to try to talk you out of them because of how difficult they are to to get and to get right and to get here. But when they get it right, they're freaking amazing. These were always my dream cabinet. It's the same thing, you know, same cabinets I have in my garage and home. But we're made, we've made the transition to Rousseau because Rousseau doesn't have any of the, or, or the problems that Lista has with production and delivery. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, we're, you know, since we're putting the noose bump control inside the cabinet. I'm gonna cut a window out of the side of the cabinet for the control for this and for the uh, up-down switch. So we'll put the control as about as high as we can get because it's double walled up here. And then we'll put the, the up-down next to it about here because there's a it's double wall here and here. So I'm gonna lay that out and gonna use a, I'm gonna use a uh, cutoff wheel, the one on the grinder, and just slit it and knock it out. And then we'll have to drill some holes Use these screws to uh, attach to the cabinet. Nice and custom. That's how we do it, Mike. So now this. This goes like this. <laughs> yeah, that should be pretty cool. Oh shoot, that's my foot. Yeah. I thought that was a corn pot. That was my toe. Oh. 
Oh, it's coming with me. <clears throat> oh, man. Land right on my foot. Cockroaches. Actually, that's probably mice. Kyle, why don't you open that drawer for me? Go ahead. There's gonna be something jumping out there, dude. There's this rat inside of there somewhere. 100%. Yep. Maybe that's the other one. Maybe he's like living in the entire... Uh... That's what I'm saying. In one of those drawers, you're about to get your face heating off. Oh, there's a dead baby one. Well, this one's kind of chewed up here. Yeah. I don't think they're rats, little mice. Yeah, they're mice. Why don't they crap in their own house and get smarter? Bunch of idiots. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ooh, buddy. Yeah, there's another one. They chewed up our liner. Yep. What an idiot. That's it. You in there, buddy? Matt was imagining something running. He said, he, something ran. I, I sensed it. <laughs> no, I said, when you open the doors, pick them up. I don't know if it's a baby mouse or a baby rat. It's a baby, it's not full grown. Saturated in alcohol. Yeah, I think that'll work. You hit it. Yeah, you know, how the hell do your rats live in these all their pisses? Right. Let's go outside, dumbos. I guess they do have a brain the size of a peanut, so what do you expect? You could take that new car smell and they messed it up. Yeah. First day. Yeah. Rat proof. If Lita saw this, she'd never come in here, right? <laughs> so at least we're putting yeah. a better smell. Yep. We got our rodent, Tom. Yeah, I guess this is the, the innocent byproduct of being prepared and ordering your stuff early, is that it may become a super highway for rat infestation. You know, would you want to live in a new age cabin or a Lista? I think I'd rather live in a Lista. Would you pick the you know, the 34 inch or the 60 inch. You know, we might as well go big time. Like, the zombie apocalypse happens, there's only like, you know, a few humans left. Are you gonna go live in the mansion or are you gonna live in the little, you know, the little single wide? And I got all the lines in except for one, so. So, outlets were designed for no Swiss tracks underneath the cabinets. Okay, so Kyle, Kyle had them do higher. They did them at standard cabinet height, I'm sure. You know, what, what you would yeah, counter comp Yeah, I'm sure they probably did. Yeah. We spec them at 48 and a half, 48 and three quarters on center. 48 and three quarters on center? No, well, then. Yeah, because we wanted 48 on center. What do you mean? From the Swiss center tracks. Of outlet? Yeah, center of the outlet. 48 and three quarters. I can't move this one yet because of the so dome. 40, it could have been 48 from the Swiss tracks. Wow. She makes these at home? Yeah, she ma well, she makes these up in the market. Yeah, That's the awesome. Regular. You can tell we've frequented mm -hmm. yeah, you, you sure have, yeah. And she's very conscientious. She's one of the, every piece of sushi made, she makes it. Man. Mike's a fan of the, uh, the sushi roll. <laughs> the roll is good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the salmon skin roll is my favorite. It's one of the best pieces of sushi I've ever had. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. That sounds spicy. That's that's right up your alley. I think when a menu is printed on paper like this, you know it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, this looks uh, this looks legit. That many. <laughs> what? Well, I'm thinking about you're going to get. Oh, give me this. I'll I take care of you. I said two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Hmm. Check. Yeah, how are we gonna do this? <laughs> You've done this many times already. <laughs> just, well, use checks. Okay. Use checks. Okay, yeah. check mark. You can see, Dilly, all right, we're gonna use a green pen to okay. <laughs> yeah. Miso soup? No miso? No, oh, no, no. Do they have clear soup? I don't want that. Don't be a salmon first skin patient. roll is my favorite. It's the best piece of sushi I've ever eaten. All right, well, maybe I should get one of them then. Yeah, I'll get you. I'll get okay. you one. Of okay. Those. That's her <laughs> special thing. I love all your marks. That's yeah. a, it's a yeah. good system. Tell her to make you a new sheet. Yeah. You can tell the level of custom mic by the amount of fingering, you know, fingerprints all over the cabin. Look at it, it's all fingered. So, to bring you up to speed, these were set at normal counter height, not at Kyle design spec height. They just, maybe they just didn't check the drawings or whatever. So, uh, in order to gain this enough distance to fit our countertops, which are right at two inches, we had to take the feet off of these, off of this cabinet, 
And uh, well, first we had to take the Swiss tracks out. Then we had to take the feet off. Uh, and then that gains us our distance. Now, since the feet are on, we can't level it. And so we got to shim it. So we're going to put some shims underneath it. Luckily, these cabinets sit lower. So the drawer cabinets sit a little bit lower. So we do have some, some um, leveling adjustment. So we should be okay. So, and I've got them all level. I mean, they're, they're dialed. So we need an inch and seven eighths for countertop. That's two inches. So we have an eighth of an inch clearance all across. And it's, it's, it's true all the way, front to back. We've got them all bolted together. So this, is, this is it. This is it. Yep. Anyways, furthermore, that's where we are. So Fred was kind enough to order us dinner. Yeah, from, so update on the dinner, no sushi. No sushi. They were um, they were in, in, on vacation in Korea. So uh, they didn't authorize that with Fred, of course. They should have prior to leaving when we were here. So Mike, what did you get? Well, Top sirloin. Top sirloin. Yeah, that sounds good. That good. sounds good. good salmon. salmon? Good, salmon. good. Sal Solomon. <laughs> they are. The, this one is quieter than the other because it's in the cabinet. Now we got some air in the line, so that's why they're not coming up evenly, but you always max them out first. And they'll, they'll kind of even out, up and down a couple times, get the air out. Wish I lived close to you. I'd come over here and work on my cars. <laughs> and now this is the way to go. For car detailing and 90% of everything you're going to yeah. do on a car, this is the way to go. Yeah, you know, I was looking at, at, on my pickup in, in, inside the frame rail. Everything's inside the frame rail. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And the thing is, is when you do a two post lift, then you can't even detail the car. Yeah. You can't open the doors, you can't get in and out of the car easily. And a four post is, the tires are sitting on the rack. So you can't take the wheels off, unless you have this supplemental that goes across that jacks the car up off of the four post. Yeah, and this is so nice, they disappear. Yeah, oh yeah, this is yep. the key, I'm telling you. I, I, there's, there's not much that would make me not want these. I mean, I, I, you know, you could maybe argue that having two or three of these and a, maybe a two post, maybe, but if I had to choose, it's this. For everything I do to my cars, is, is this would be it for me. This is the dream. See, it comes in the coolest freaking crate ever. So if you are ever fortunate enough someday, this is the, this is the one up of a Krenzla. Right? Opening a Krenzla, getting a Krenzla shipped to you is like, like the primo, like my favorite thing to do, favorite thing to get. This one ups that because it's even better. Core sub, four, nine inch high excursion isotar woofers um it has a uh it's a chinese knockoff junk uh you only need these it's only this oh, okay i did this okay so this is um i don't know i think the coolest sub ever i bought these just because i wanted to like check the list check it off the list to say look you know dyn audio i'm gonna order one of everything they make except for confidence line. And so I added these to it and I fell in love. So I have these all over the place in my life. It's freaking awesome. So I talked Fred into doing two of them. So this is the one I should get my garage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or with the GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah. yeah GoFundMe, don't you wanna, don't you want Mike to have a core sub and Mike? The mics, the Mike and Mike's, we need a core sub in our life. Everyone needs a core sub. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeff needs a core sub, Fred needs a core sub. One of these. <sighs> yeah, that's a beaut. It's She's 90 a... pounds of pure joy. She's a beaut, Clark. A real beaut. Yeah. No, I always mess this up. I always forget this. I need to get the uh, little pad thingies out of the top here. I don't even think about stealing my joy, Mike. Give me that. I'm not going to steal. I'm not, I will open the Ziploc for you, though. Okay? There you go. We can, I'll sprinkle the love for you. Every time I open one of these, it's just pure joy. Even if it's not, we you know it's not mine. So you're probably gonna sleep really well tonight then after yeah. this. Well, I opened one yesterday, I opened one today. Oh, so you back to back sleep good nights. It's a dream. Yeah. So, the only thing that would up this is if you had this and a cinnamon roll today. No, because then, then I'm not gonna have one. Then I'd feel bad for myself. No, you wouldn't. No, I would. You'd be, be fine. 
Mike and I will eat yours though. We'll split yeah. it. We'll get three. When all these new fancy jeans I bought don't fit, that's when I'm gonna feel sad. Well, that's the problem is you're buying fancy jeans. Yeah. Well, these ones aren't fancy. No. These I bought at Kohl's. Oh, it's the first what, trip you, to Kohl's in my entire Kohl's? life. I've never been there. He's always sniping. Oh, yeah. Habits. Always sniping everything, Mike. Want some assistance so you don't hurt your back? How about go, that? Let's go this way. Let me go my way or your way. Yeah, I don't want to do it on the, on the woofers here. Here, I'll just lift this and then you lift that in. Okay, here we go. Set it on the... There we go. That's pretty, pretty nice looking unit. It's a good, good piece of equipment. Piece of equipment. Where's it going? Yeah, it's going right here. Okay. The, I normally I'd pick it up, but some nice shoes, Matt. Are those the uh, Janowski's or what else? Skater shoes? Yeah, Niger Houston. Oh, okay. Let me have that power cord, please, sir. Yep. Is am I gonna steal your thunder if I take the little uh, no, no, do that no, off? I don't give okay. a crap about that. Okay, all right, just making sure. What about the plastic on the cord itself? The little nope. white plastic yeah, well, covers the prongs. Stand by. Well, that made a nice sound. Low pass. Uh, do you know how to set one of these up? Have you wall. Done it before. Our dream of playing the uh, the outro music mic doesn't work because you can't connect to Blue OS from freaking YouTube. It doesn't work. Really? No. At least I don't know how to do it. Doesn't give you. Doesn't give you an option. I guess. Yeah. Let's see. You ready to quit? What's going on, Mike? The, the wabas are the wabas are a little. <laughs> they need, no, that's true. I didn't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He has to get a shower before he eats. Well, it's right. You, you know me. See, what a good friend. Yeah. I don't right. like. I didn't say I liked you. I, I don't like you either. <laughs> I just tolerate you. All right, everybody. Well, that was a good day. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good day. It was very productive. Got yeah. a lot done. We did. We did. And we were just kind of toying around. Well, we, the Prevost parts didn't show up. Let's mess around with the cabinets. Mm -hmm. Look, well, they're, they're done. Halfway they're done. Yeah. We got two yeah. more arrays to do. Now yeah. we know what we need to do. Yeah. Cut the Swiss tracks around it. Yep. Um, crisis averted. I mean, look at that. We got a. We got a. That's a, a thirty thir second. That's a thirty second. Yeah. You can split a hair there. You know. Yeah. That's a. That's one half a baby. That's like yeah. one great grandbaby. That's that's correct. Yeah. There. That's a. Twice removed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like an illegitimate great great grandbaby. <laughs> anyway, we um, we got a lot done today. Yeah. Thanks for watching the series. Thanks yeah. to uh, uh, Jeff and Jordan for dropping by and helping us out. And um, thanks to Fred for all the lunches. Yeah. I'm off the wagon. Yeah. I had yeah. a bunch of cookies, ate some yeah. chips, I'm about he's, to eat some. He's actually French fries. on the way to get us dinner at a restaurant locally. Yeah. So he felt like not like a dinner, like a nice dinner. Legit dinner, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah a nice yeah, dinner. Yeah, yeah. Not like Red Robin or something. We it's did like have, nice stuff. We did find some, you know, the mice like creatures. Vista. Some creatures. They yeah, like they expensive like... cabinets and custom paint to sample finishes. And the big cabinet too. They chose the biggest one. Yeah, the one. biggest, most expensive cabinet. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. like mine, my biggest, most expensive got damage and shipping. Yeah, that's the course. way it goes. Of course. That's the way it goes. So what's tomorrow? Lifts, clean this place up, finish the cabinets. Yeah, and then wait for and the rest of the going parts. to Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah. Disneyland. We're, we're waiting on parts. I, 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 I can never see you at Disneyland. No, I'm not going. No. Heck no. Well, we can go somewhere. We won't. We won't be going anywhere. Not going anywhere. No. I'm going to mount that TV next door and sit on the couch. There you go. That yeah. sounds good. With uh, maybe some treats. No, 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 no. I'm back on the wagon tomorrow, Mike. I can't do two days in a row. I got to get on the wagon. <laughs> you can. You're completely capable. I skipped the gym. I skipped the gym today because my back, my back really does feel good. Yeah. Like, finally. Yeah. yeah, if your back fell off and now mine hurts. My, my yeah. fear is I'm going to sleep and wake up and start all over. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been, this garage is epic. Um, yeah. Yeah, all it's the lifts are working, obviously. Oh, all the, Jeff got all the speakers working, so that's good. Go follow, follow Improved Garage on YouTube. He's over there, green shirt. And um, let's get him some subscribers for helping me out here today. He did like 75% of the Swiss tracks cutting after I quit. Kyle did 1% of the Swiss tracks cutting. Oh wait, no, he did the wash basin. Kyle, Kyle. Yeah, but, but Jeff did probably 
you know, 80% of the Swiss tracks cutting in there, and I did okay. 20. But Kyle got some tourism. He got, Kyle got tourism points today. Oh, you, we got the, the, notice all the lifts are working? Yeah, all the lifts are done. Yeah, it's a good deal. Yeah, we're going to eat some dinner. We're not including you in that. We're going to sign off for today. See mm -hmm. you guys later. Yep, see ya.